right uh, joining us now on the broadcast is sushmita dev uh, member of parliament and senior leader of the tmc ma'am thank you so much for speaking to us uh, we speak to you at an occasion when the uh, tmc has lost its status as a national party i saw yesterday your party official twitter handle had put out and uh, sources have been telling us that the tmc is uh, exploring legal options against the ec order this is pure arithmetic why are you you know going ahead uh, as far as the legal options are concerned ma'am you see uh, there is a legal view within the party that the time period for which we were given the recognition uh when we start calculating that time period i mean i don't want to reveal the entire petition here the lawyers are looking at it so uh, i think it's everyone's right to question a decision that comes from any uh, constitutional authority and it's not the first time that we are hearing of a party going against the decision of the election commission of india but of course whatever the uh, whatever the judiciary decides we will accept that and uh, i think we are well within our rights to want to uh, legally challenge this true but uh, politically speaking it has come on the back of uh, the uh, defeats that the party has in fact suffered in manipur arunachal pradesh and earlier in goa as well uh, does that politically sends a message that the tmc is reduced to a regional status a party which has its wings or at least has its influence only in one state that is west bengal where you are ruling you see i'll i will tell you something that uh, the political implications of this on uh, trinamool congress is uh, i think uh, should not be exaggerated i mean i will not say that this is good news but i'll also say that we shouldn't overplay it because for instance in meghalaya we got 14% vote share you know within a year of working there yes in goa uh we could have done better but the fact is uh, we are also a party where after mamta banerji broke away from the congress and started started the party we started from one member of parliament which is mamta banerji herself and today you've seen our strength in the lok sabha so yes yes uh, what i'm i'm not undermining i'm not undermining the fact that losing the status as a national party we are not looking at it i mean we are not happy about it but the fact is it is not end of the road and i take pride in saying that uh, mamta banerji as the leader of west bengal has a substantial amount of seats in the lok sabha and we are looking to better it we are looking to better it in the next general election and secondly i would like to see the kind of acceptance mamta banerji has um, you know uh, cultivated amongst voters across the country and the way her stature has grown over the last 10 years or more i think it's something okay. that should not be undermined by a technical issue right but uh, do you also uh, you know and just to understand the impact you saying that uh, the stature has gone and there is no denying that but uh, going into the election 2024 it comes at a very very crucial time when there have been questions about who can effectively lead the opposition against the bharatiya janata party in the year 2024 does that now hamper or at least is a setback to mamta banerji's national ambitions as a pan india leader taking on narendra modi no not at all i'll tell you why because bengal is a big state it has around 42 odd seats uh, in the lok sabha and apart from that if you look at uh, our national expansion in tripura assam meghalaya goa uh, which we plan to contest i think what you are uh, undermining is the strike rate i think mamta banerji as a party in trinamool congress has a better strike rate than uh, national party some of the national parties not all i have not said that and i feel that uh, uh, lok sabha is a number game and uh, anything can happen okay. anything can happen and i can tell you something she is going from strength to strength and we will look at our legal options and i think uh, the important part about uh, 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 politics important part about politics is when you're talking about who can be the prime ministerial candidate who can can be hmm. we've seen the most unexpected things happen in indian True. politics and someone we've expected to take the chair uh, has not been able to do so True. so we are going to uh, remain focused on our national expansion But and of course it's upon the people of uh, 
how they choose. At this moment, ma'am, uh, Mamta Banerjee and TMC is seen uh, more or less equidistant as far as the Congress and the BJP is concerned. One of the key leaders in in some sort of a third front or anti-BJP Congress uh, kind of a formation. Does this not, is it not a setback in those ambitions? Because now there are other claimants as well. There is Nitish Kumar, there is Mr. KCR. With TMC losing the national party status, that weakens her claim as the leader of this third formation. That's a very oversimplistic view of the situation. We have a national party like the Indian National Congress, which has 2% vote in Uttar Pradesh. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, and I'm saying that tomorrow if Mamta Banerjee Okay, forget about Assam, Meghalaya, Goa and, uh, and Tripura. Hmm. If Mamta Banerjee and Singh, uh, our Honourable Chairperson, comes with 40 out of 42 seats. Hmm. So whether she stands in Lok Sabha, if a national party comes with just 50 or 44 seats. True. You see, so that's politics. So that's politics. But we are going to keep fighting it out. We are going to keep fighting it out. And uh, uh, take our uh, take our legal recourse, which we've already said on record. Right. Uh, in the end, uh, Sushmita, I would also like to ask you. You know, it also comes at a time when not just yours, but. NCP and uh, CPI has also lost their recognition as the national party. But importantly, Aam Aadmi Party has come to the stage as a national party. It is a sixth national party now with governments in two state. Does it in any way uh, create some sort of a rivalry in the topmost faces of the opposition? Arvind Kejriwal would be fancying his chances. There is Mamta Banerjee. And of course, there are other leaders as well. Not at all. We, we congratulate uh, Advait Kejriwal ji and Aam Aadmi Party for uh, getting the status as a national party. We have no grudges against him. But you see, I also feel compelled to say something to your viewers. You see, uh, today Aam Aadmi Party has been recognized as a national party. I think it's very unfair and what, uh, what I sort of take umbrage to is when parties like Trinamool Congress or uh, BRS or Aam Aadmi Party looks at expanding outside the state in which they have a bastion to say, oh, you're, you're cutting votes and you're the B team of the BJP. I mean, that's very unfair in a mm. democracy. Today, Amadmi party has worked to give the give them their due. They have uh, gained, they gained one seat in Goa. They formed a government in Punjab. And you see, that is well within a healthy democracy to see a party which is otherwise restricted to one state to grow in other states. There is no harm in it. Absolutely. We should we should celebrate that in a democracy, not keep saying, "Oh, you're a B team of the BJP or trying to cut votes." I think that's very very unfair, and it's a very naive view that is generally propagated by national parties who are themselves struggling to you know for their own foothold. Sushmita Dev, thank you so much uh, for speaking to NDTV and being so candid. Of course, uh, every political party has the right to, uh, for expansion, uh, find new political grounds. And we uh, are, will be, in fact, keeping a very close eye on the next moves of the TMC, legally, politically as well. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you.